Welcome to our Funday Monday for uh, November 2021. And as you can see, we've painted the landscape here behind us a little bit for you. <laughs> yes, the time changes this weekend and we are going to fall back. And there's a lot of talk about daylight savings time changing. So we asked people for their votes and 28% said keep it, 55% said drop it, and 17% said I don't care. So some of the stories that people had, and, and actually with the snow here, the picture I sent out yesterday uh, was just a, a taste of what we were getting. We're 38 degrees today, and it's still snow on the ground. It had almost four inches last night. Never had any frost, but then we got snow two days in a row. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see what the rest of November is like. Welcome um, to Bruce County. That's right. So with um, some of the things that people had talked about with daylight savings, so um, one person wanted to go back to um, the daylight savings changing at uh, in October, so it would be darker for Halloween. Um, we had somebody wanted to have daylight savings all year round to be on that time. And if we got rid of it, um, and the sun would rise in King Carden at 4.43 a.m. as our earliest, but it would set at 8.13 that night. Usually we set at 9.13 uh, is our latest. So um, it's, do you want early morning when you're sleeping anyways, or would you rather have it late at night when you can enjoy the evening? So and I guess I know what he would vote for. That's right. And on the other hand, for the winter time, actually, if we... Um, stayed on the daylight savings all year round like one person suggested um our uh, sun rise would be at 8 24 in the morning on uh, december 21st the low shortest day of the year for sun um, but it would also set at um, 5 49 instead of at 4 49 that day so it'd have a longer evening so with that We've got uh, some draw oh, and some of the stories people had. Uh, most of them tended to be around church. People were late for church since it happens on uh, um, Sunday morning early. They were either late or early. A couple of stories of people being uh, late or almost late and missing a plane and somebody being an hour early and getting to the airport and wondering why they were so much ahead of everybody else. So we, we want to just remind you about Remembrance Day next Thursday and take in a Remembrance Day service either in person or virtually if you're able. That's right. We could talk about that after we did the draw, but uh, we'll do that anyway. So there we go. There's our announcement. Okay. She's following the script, but not doing it very well. Okay. Okay. Draw, draw, draw. We got a name. Oh, they fell back in. You can hear the dripping of the uh, snow off the roof here. And the winner this month is Barbara Wallace. Congratulations, Barbara. And in her case, she said, drop it. Um, <laughs> so um, we'll see how that holds up. So until next time, you can see actually up on our roof there too. You see the snow all up on the roof there that's coming off. So, yep. And I'm advertising Canada. I just wanted to show you what my winter wear was like. So on that happy note, uh, take care. Hopefully you're not getting any snow where you are. And uh, we will talk to you in December. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.